Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is time for us to get into uh, episode 4 of the third series of Bottom. This one's called Door. I'm not going to make any predictions based on the title because if I'd have... You know, it is pointless because it hardly ever turns out to be um, an indicator. I mean, the last episode was Break. They wanted to go on holiday. Uh, Hall... I didn't get out what that had to do with them being stuck on a ferris wheel. Terror, Halloween, uh, maybe, yeah. So I'm not going to make any predictions. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So obviously, uh, bottom, it goes on the Patreon first, and then it goes on YouTube later with a bit of uh, editing. So this is uh, being recorded on the 26th of January. So whenever this ends up on YouTube, that's when you could have got access to this. And uh, bottom is part of the cheap super six, which is the six main series that we, that I watch, react to, that are part, that are uh, available in the cheapest tier. So if you join the one dollar a month tier, you get access to six ongoing series minimum. Well, no, five ongoing, and then it's like things like gimme 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 still game things that we've done yeah all right so let's go and the young ones is part of that as well and father's head and mind your language let's go i love that look here you know I get chills when he disappears off the bench. I mentioned it in a previous episode. <sighs> That's War and Peace finished. <sighs> I knew it was that Russian bloke that did it. Same thing last time. What? I've never read it, I just know it's like the biggest book doing in, in the there? world or something. <sighs> I could have written that. I would have done too if that Tolstoy bloke hadn't sneaked in first. You know, I'd have jazzed it up a bit, put a few nudie pictures in and a couple of car chases. Car chases? I peace either. I'd call it something more appropriate, like a load of old bollocks. <laughs> what is he up to in there? Oh, God, I'm so bored. Right, off we go again. <laughs> Count Leon Tolstoy. Did you read it again? Well, they spelt the cat wrong, didn't they? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? They spelt it wrong? Does it mean he'd spell it without the O? Is that what he mean? <laughs> oh, right, that's it, I've had enough. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie, you've been in there for seven whole days. What are you doing? Seven days? Eddie? Right, that's it, young man. Now listen to me. I'm going to count to three, and then I am going to have a ruddy good look through that keyhole. Do you hear me? One. A ruddy good look through two, that keyhole. Two. Two. Three. Remember when we were being naughty as kids and our parents used to do the countdown? They always used to shout two, didn't they? One. Two. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Not funny. Hold on. What? Where is this? This isn't their house. It's clean. Oh. I've got carpet. Oh, Eddie, please. I'm so bored and lonely. I haven't had anyone to talk at for a whole week. What are you doing in there? It's just a little hobby of mine. Why don't you go and do yours? Well, I've had five this afternoon already. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> come on, come on! Eddie! <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that's their house, alright. Oh, 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 oh,
Just need some more ink. <laughs> Stop. What's he doing? <laughs> that doesn't look right, right does it? Poor Nemo. Wait, it is a fishbowl in it. Look at him! Is that So you found something to help you pass the time then? Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, Eddie. Point taken. Well, point Eddie burned right off, actually. <laughs> oh, God, what a life. Ow. Ow. Oh, who'd be me? Oh, oh God, I'm so bored. I'm so bored I could watch a whole episode of The Bill without vomiting blood. <laughs> <sighs> no, 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 I mustn't. I owe it to myself. Oh, that is it, the bill. I can't go on like this. Oh, hurrah! Oh, I'm coming! I'm coming! It'll be Ray! a Bible bus show. Don't go away, you'll like me! Oh, you'll like Spock me! Oh. Dave Hedgehog! How great to Dave see Hedgehog. you! Dave um, Hedgehog! Well, come ye! Come ye! Why don't ye? <laughs> Why don't ye? Oh. Get on a bit. So, what brings you, don't you? <laughs> so, what brings you round here? Max. The bus. The bus? No, I mean, why are you here? His telly's broke. Oh. oh charming. I see. Well, anyway, Look, charming. Huh? Sherry? No. 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 Oh, good, because you haven't got any. <laughs> uh, cheesy dip? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. There's something going round, I think. <laughs> Cheesy. Oh. Uh. Change the subject. Oh, no. oh, well. Let's all have an olive. No. Here we are. <laughs> Just one. There we are. Spud Gun. Read any good books lately? Well, I'll make it easier. Have you thought about anything ever? <laughs> uh, Have you thought about anything uh, ever? Oh, never mind. Hedgehog? Oh, Hedgehog? Oh, oh, no, he's got one. Hold on. Strap yourself in. Might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Go on. Well, I was thinking the other day in Mace about baked beans. Because <laughs> ah. it, like, says on the label, baked beans. But I thought, wouldn't it be funny, like, if there was just one baked bean? Because then it'd be a misprint. <laughs> it's the end. I wasn't thinking. Oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Terrific! It's great when us great minds get together, isn't it? <laughs> mm. What can I say? It's up to me, funfty times. Marvellous. So, Hedgehog! No! What? I don't know anything. I haven't been thinking at all. Hey, help! Eddie, Eddie, he's talking at us again. Hey, no, shush, I've got it. Morris dancing, <laughs> hey? Come on, look lively, get your hankies out. Hope they're not as crinkly as Yeah, I know what you're thinking. How the fuck can you miss that massive thing? Mine? <laughs> Come on, look lively. Hope they're not as crinkly as mine. <laughs> uh. Look lively. Skippity hoppity slappity slap. Skippity hoppity chinky chin. Get your black Chinky chin. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie, thank God you're here. The Troggler Dance have arrived. Shall we try oh, to keep them occupied for simply hours? Take over. Yeah. Hello, boys. Sort of heard you come in. Are they dry yet? Shh. What? What? His wife's not supposed to know. Oh, right. Well, Why? What? <laughs> Is there something going on? I think we'd better go upstairs, boys. Oh, look. A nudie magazine? Oh, where? Where? Oh, where? Come on! Where, guys? Guys? Well, guys? Guys! <laughs> guys! Here you go, boys. El Dorado. Wow! Nice one, Eddie. Ah, guys? What nudie magazine? What's going on up there? Everything's 
for a joke. Come on, you wild bunch. What's going on in here? What? <laughs> guys, let me in. I want to watch that bit again. It's just, you know, how childish she's acting and... Wow! Nice one, <laughs> Guys, what the Eating Magazine? What's going on up here? Look at him! Anything for a joke? Come on, you wild bunch. What's going on in here? <laughs> guys, let me in. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great, aren't you? <laughs> Me old black hearted jackanape bounty hunter from the devil's lavatory. I've been forging money. No more living on the edge of society for us. No more tick, no more nicking, no more running into off license and seeing how much we can drink before the police arrive. That's <laughs> about done. Have 25 grand. Oh, oh Have a hundred grand. Oh, Richie! Yes! Have a 15 pound note. Have a 15 pound note! He wouldn't all, wouldn't he? Here you go, you two. 100 grand for you, 50 quid for you, uh, uh, Richie, yep. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to tell him or shall I about his little money forging enterprise and the notes he's printing? 15 pound note? <laughs> and this is a new denomination. 15? Yeah, it's a misprint, but very rare. Could be worth up to 20p in a couple of years or so. <laughs> Come on, lads, let's get down to the Maserati showroom. Maserati showroom! What's this tomato? That's not a tomato, that's the Queen's face. <laughs> gotta get the dye right, yes? You gotta get the shape right first, Eddie. <laughs> now that is Welsh money. <laughs> they didn't have any Welsh money. Why don't they all vote Labour? Ah, yeah. Who knows? Those are the Queen's jugs. <laughs> They're no. the Queen's no, jugs. No, Eddie, no. A, the Queen doesn't have jugs, she's royalty. <laughs> and B, if she did, she certainly wouldn't get them out on the back of a fiver. <laughs> certainly not, she'd save my... Tell me she heard this, please! Tell me Lizzie saw this before she died. I need to know that she did. Because I know she'd have laughed. She had a great sense of humour, she'd have loved that. Eddie. A, the Queen doesn't have jugs, she's royalty. <laughs> and B, if she did, she certainly wouldn't get them out on the back of a fiver. <laughs> certainly not, she'd save them up for the 50. <laughs> it gets a better! 50, I think you might find it a mite more risque. <laughs> That's disgusting! Oh, I know. <gasps> Eddie, that's tantamount to treason! <sighs> How can you expect to pass off these pornographic doodles as real money? You can't. Especially when you see what the Duke of Edinburgh's up to on the back of the tenor. Oh, God! <laughs> the back of the tenor? Who's that with him? Meryl Streep. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust them to do anything, can you? <sighs> Duke of Edinburgh's up to on the back of the tenor. <laughs> Who's that with him? Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, she's got three knockers. No, that's Bobby Charlton in the middle. <laughs> nice one. Eddie, are you insane? Bobby Char you couldn't buy these under the counter in Hamburg. You but that's couldn't. the whole plan, you see. The unsuspecting publican will be so mesmerised by the classy erotica that I'll have had seven pints by the time he notices how crap the squiggly lines are. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go to the nearest hostelry and expose no. our prodigiousness. No, let's go down the lamb and flag and see if the forged money works. Hey, it's a better idea than mine. I didn't even know what I was talking about. Nor did I. <laughs> let's let's test the waters amongst my audience. How many of you used to wish, or still wish, that you could do this? Forge money convincingly. I wish I could do it. There's a guy on my Facebook, I won't, I won't tell you his name, but this is literally what he does. He makes fake money. And uh, just blank credit cards with like 500 quid on them. 
and sells them to people. And it works. You know? And he puts pictures of the money that he's got. I don't know I don't know what he, he, if he prints it or someone else prints it, but it looks really convincing. I think he'll sell you a grand for 800 quid or something like that. But yeah, he's, he's never been caught. No one he's ever sold it to has ever been caught. You know, it's just, you look at it, you're like, wow, it, it looks real. If anyone wants to know his name, message me on the Patreon or the Facebook page and I'll send you his details. But, yeah. I do wish, no, it'd be nice to just be able to print your own money, wouldn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I was talking about? Nor did I! <laughs> Hard man. Nice, yeah. As usual. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll stand back, everyone else, just in case. Because once our slot gets started, there's no knowing when we'll stop. Well, the truth is, when Dick finds out we haven't got enough money to pay for the first round of halves. But not tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going to happen? Evening, Dick. By the way, door, it connects to the episode, so. Tonight. <clears throat> <clears throat> Evening, Dick. Lovely weather. It's raining. Yes. You're acting suspicious already out of culture. Is that a guard's tie you're wearing? Yeah, it is actually. Well, maybe you should give it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> right, enough of the conversational pleasantries. <clears throat> drinks all round. Well, of course there's drinks all round. It's a pub. No, I, I, I mean, drinks all round us. What are you having, boys? Palpitations. Has he seen the cash yet? Palpitations! Lefty or so help me, I'll swing for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm very busy. <coughs> No, you're not. Oh, no, but I've been on a publican's refresher course in customer relations. Oh, so, right. Come on, Harry, and order you time waiting parasites, or I'll set the doors on you! I've been on a course of customer relations. Hurry up, you time wasting parasite! <laughs> I love jokes like that. In comedies. No, you're not. I know, but I've been on a publican's refresher course in customer relations. So, come on, Harry, and order you time waiting parasites, or I'll set the doors on you! Doors on you! Half a mild. Uh, same half for me in a pint glass, please. Yeah, I'll have a pint of mild in a half pint glass. <laughs> what? Richie? What? Oh, 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 anything. So you'll have half a pint of mild and another half pint of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter, anything will do, uh, you know, well, anything at all, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, um, something sophisticated and left bank. Oh, diddly do, diddly do, I don't know. Um, <laughs> absinthe. Bless you. <laughs> it's, a, Bless you. <laughs> it's a drink, Eddie. Ah, oh, right. And the pint of absinthe, please. Absinthe? Yes. There's a gay pub down the road, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Buster. Do you know? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yes. There's a gay pub down the road, you know. <laughs> Are you starting, Buster? Look, we haven't got any anyway. What about, uh, <gasps> Pernod? Pernod? <laughs> oh, yes, all right then, yes. I'll have a pint of Pernod. Make it a straight glass with a good head. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, mine host. And um, what's this? <laughs> it is a £27 note. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the change. You can't expect me to. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, take them, take them. Uh, I think the light's a bit better in the toilet, sir. Hey, uh, watch the bar for me, would you? Really? Ah! Here's to us, the master criminals! Cheer! Well, that's some extreme pornography right there. I mean... You know, if you cut a bit short, maybe... A fashion mo magazine or something, but... Using money? <laughs> this is shit! <laughs> Hello. It's a shit! Don't watch your Henderson. Yeah, it's a dickhead here. Dickhead here? Ah, dickhead! 
I don't really? I don't laugh. Uh, I have in my possession here a very rare and extraordinarily pornographic 27 pound note, which may be of interest to a man in your position. What? Oh, well, it's uh, Sylvester Stallone fisting what looks like Mr. McHenry from the Magic Round. <laughs> And they say to lose the trek, you should drink this. <laughs> no wonder his legs fell off and all his paintings were crap. <laughs> Hello, boys. Everything all right? Not a problem. It's been very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> a coach load of Japs came in and finished off the Malibu, but apart from that... Good! Gives us a chance to have a little chat then, doesn't it? A chat? Yeah, uh, I've just been a with one of my pals. Skull Crusher Henderson, who, as it happens, is the master counterfeiter of old London town. Oh. And he takes a very dim view to people muscling in on his patch. Some might say an almost psychotically, violently dim view. <laughs> so? <laughs> so? So, Eddie? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 My name is Deirdre Barlow. <laughs> so is mine. Me too. And his. And <laughs> his. Roll, Deirdre Barlow. Well, Deirdre's skull crusher is very, very <clears throat> angry with you. Do you uh, think we should send him some flowers? <laughs> no, I'm afraid it's beyond flowers. Beyond Ooh. flowers. Basically, he says that unless you stop printing and come up with five grand by closing time tonight, he's going to come round here and crush your skulls. <laughs> Five grand. Is why? that bad? <laughs> Is that and bad? That's why they call him the Skull Crusher. <laughs> exactly. So and that's why they call him the Skull Crusher. <laughs> Ricky's a good actor. <laughs> and that's why they call him the Skull Crusher. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, till tonight, gentlemen. <laughs> I think I need to go to the lobby. Yeah, me too. And me. And me. I'm just being. <laughs> See anything? I'm practically blind. <laughs> that sign. Annual pub quiz. First prize: five thousand quid. <laughs> Eddie, you're a genius. Hang on. Five thousand quid. That's exactly the same five thousand quid we need to pay Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had the same idea as you. Yes. 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 Hey, Dick. Put us in with the big brain quiz tonight. Certainly, gents. Two hundred quid. What? what? Each. Double what? Double what? It's steep, isn't it? Steep? It's effing vertical! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a bit steep, isn't it? Steep? It's effing vertical! <laughs> yes! Yes! What? Each. Double, Double what? what? <laughs> That's a bit steep, isn't it? Steep? It's effing vertical! vertical. <laughs> what? Very, very big price. Uh, excuse us just one moment. Oh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would you accept tea? Uh, gold ones. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them together. There you go, Dick. Great. Hang on. There's only enough here for two. What? Oh, rats bollocks. Uh, right, stand firm, Eddie. Yeah? This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. I had an idea it might. <laughs> Are you off? No, just getting a good run up. What? It's what? <laughs> How is that? Wrong side. <laughs> the things I do for you. <sighs> oh. Oh, these 
Hang on, these are all real teeth as well. Yeah, well, I haven't got any gold teeth. <laughs> oh, no. got, I've got about three. Oh, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Some revision. Oh, <laughs> well, we could do that as well. Well, we've got two hands. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I need to breathe. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That's one of the funniest bits I've ever seen in this. Oh, and I had to go back three times because every time I went back there was something new. You know, first it was, you know, that and then <laughs> saw that Eddie was like that. <laughs> and he turned around. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, yeah. Hey, the birds are going crazy already. Right. There's something about this I've been thinking about for a while. I don't know if I should save it till the very last episode. But yeah. I'm the thing that I've been thinking about, that bit that we've just seen, has pretty much made the decision for me. Cause I was just thinking about it at first, considering other things. But I think that's just swung it. Carry on. I, I don't think I'll tell you about it. Uh, yeah. Four pints of mild, please, Dick. You'll have to wait. What's this? Ha. It is a 137 Kruger and note. <laughs> Bloody hell, is that Dick Emery? <gasps> Didn't know he could ride. <laughs> no, he's not riding. That's Princess Anne. <laughs> I told you you to stop printing unless you want to incur her off her skull crusher! All right then, stick this gold tooth behind the bar, you bastard! Yeah. Racketeer! Vulture! Body snatcher! Shop assistant! Yeah. Shop assistant! Budget. What's that? Budget? No, that's not it. No, it's not. Oh, look, it? can we just sit down? It's getting really embarrassing now. No, you're on table number three. Right. Right, shop Fingers assistant. On <laughs> Don't be so foul! <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Don't be so foul. Hamster. Hamster. Help! Someone's anus has broken loose. <laughs> Good one, Hedgehog. Look at him trying not to cry. Great. What's this? Hitler. Hammersmith. <laughs> oh. Oi! Who's pushing their buzzers? Who oh, is that? The buzzer. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I thought. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Oh god. Can we give you Could someone like 
get a meeting with the big man upstairs and make arrangements. Tell him we'll give him three modern day comedians just so we can have Rick back. In fact, fuck three. Ten. <laughs> I could probably name ten modern comedians that I would easily give up in exchange for Rick. I won't even think twice about it, to be honest. Hitler, Ellison. <laughs> Oi! Who's pushing their buzzers? Who oh, is that the buzzer? Blimey! I thought my crumpetometer was going doolally. Crumpetometer? Get an eyeful of the nursey jug fest on table number two. I'm gonna have some... <laughs> Get an eyeful of the nursey jug fest on table number two. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many new quotes to use when we finish with this. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Eddie, you are the raunch machine. What is, what's he gonna do? Lick her cheeks dry. <laughs> 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 Hi, birds. Hi, birds. <laughs> oh dear. I seem to have inadvertently dropped my keys. Inadvertently, yeah? Uh? You don't mind if I bend down and have a quick get of them, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You're so hard! I bet he is. <laughs> yeah, well, I am now. <laughs> well, come on, come on. What did you see? Is it true? Don't be stupid, Richard. It was just a cover. I was fixing their buzzer. Oh, oh. <laughs> fixing their <Okay>. buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> fixing their buzzer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fixing their buzzer! Hey, good idea. Oh, hey, right. What, why don't you go and fix the buzzers on all the other tables? Right, I'll do the CID table first. Yeah. Tell you what. CID. Give me the big coat. Right. While you're at it, I'll stash the encyclopedias in the lave. Right. Uh, hi, blokes. Hi, blokes. Oh, you drop the keys under your table. Don't mind if I bend down and have a quick get of them, do you? <laughs> so much I give him all the praise but Aid is just fantastic too and this would not work without him it just wouldn't they're both brilliant oh god I think I'll just pop in for a quick workout. <laughs> no, no, but when I say a quick workout, I don't mean a sort of hairy-handed adolescent sort of... Yeah, it's all right, Rich. No one's listening to you. <gasps> no, they're not. Just go. <laughs> we could be at home now looking at the telly. Before you said the telly's broke. Well, that doesn't matter. We, we could just sit there looking at it. Out of order sign, yep, I'm surprised I remembered that. Perfect face for coming in. Okay, all set? 
they don't stand a chance. <laughs> right, Spud Gun, what's your special subject? Oh, I had it a minute ago. <laughs> Hedgehog, what's yours? Uh, I'll have a point, please. <laughs> Oh, and when it's a start, look, I'll cover ing, hist, jog, chem, fizz, bilge, lat, fur, and gym, okay? <laughs> All the brainy middle class stuff. Eddie, what are you covering? The exits. The exits! <laughs> <laughs> so Rick's gonna do the whole quiz on his own, right? And Adrian and Eddie, he's got the exits covered. Right. Teamwork. <laughs> you nervous, Eddie? No, I think it's that bloke on that table over there. Tell him to put a cork in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you all to the Lamb and Flag, <sighs> and like especially to welcome our rival pub. I just can't wait to see this. It's going to be brilliant, isn't it? I just know it. The dog and handgun. Get on with it, you la- The dog and handgun! <laughs> That's the right name for a pub. And like especially to welcome our rival pub, the dog and hand gun. Get on with it, you late and homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, keep it friendly. We all got three months last time, remember? Right, here we go. First one of ten gets the 5,000 quid. Now, I'm taking the questions from the world of knowledge. 1,000 searching questions for eight to ten-year-olds. Eight to ten-year-olds? Shit. Ah! Shit. This is going to be a bitch. Right. Here we go, first oh, question, God. brace yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the Appalachians? In the Appalachian Mountains. <laughs> it's the wrong answer. It's the wrong answer. And... <laughs> <laughs> he took uh, as the answer. <laughs> oh, what a dickhead. <laughs> For a bonus point. No, it's not. Uh, I think you'll find that was the same answer the CID gave. <laughs> right, moving right along then. Christ, I think he stopped breathing. Oi, right, quiet, please. What, and I'll repeat that, what is the square root of an hundred? <laughs> I thought you were covering maths. Is that what I, I thought it was gardening. <laughs> Could it be daffodils? Oh, this is hopeless. We're not going anywhere. Bide your time, Richie. Bide your time. Right, next question. Which is the greater, two dozen or a score? Two dozen. Daffodils. Wrong. It bloody is. No, it isn't. <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? No, I'm calling you a tosser. <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? No, I'm calling you a tosser. <laughs> Good one. Are you calling me a liar? No, I'm calling you a tosser. <gasps> you calling me a liar? <laughs> oh, well, that's okay then. Well, that's okay then. See, Rich, the plan's working brilliantly. They're all too busy looking after the dying and wounded. This is where we close in for the kill. Uh. Yeah, yeah, get them out of here. And wash the blood on me sawdust, won't you? Now, with the uh, team neck and neck team. on a nail biting zero all round, we move on to our next category. Here we got a single Pop question. Music. Woo. Oh. Woo. Berlin is the capital of which country, Germany? Oh. <laughs> Come on, he answered the question. <laughs> oh, look, Eddie, yeah? you keep him talking. I'll nip into the lobby and look it up in the Encyclo. Right, he don't. Encyclo. <laughs> Uh, Dick, isn't it true that you once did a trial for QPR? That's right, actually, yeah. Trevor Francis phones me up one day, he says, Dickhead, I said, that's me. Dickhead, I said, that's me. <laughs> Somebody in there? Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to be as out of order. Not as out of order as I am. <laughs> oh! For fucking hell, fire! <laughs> <laughs> I've got through three books of this posh loo paper already. What? Oh no, he's a K! Oh! You bastard! Fuck, oh, jeez! <laughs> I can't! I can't! I fucking can't! I'm doing it. 
I'm doing what I mentioned a few minutes ago about something I was thinking about. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Straight in the top corner of the net. I turned round to take the applause of my teammate. Oh, no, he's he's it. Me. Well, apparently I was supposed to stick it in the goal at the other end, which was stupid because there's loads of air players up that end. I mean, you can... <sighs> well, I showed him how to completely beat the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, next... thanks. That's enough, Dick. <coughs> Pass. 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 <laughs> Correct. Correct. What? What? Near enough. what, you mean we get the five grand? Yeah, here you go. Now bugger off, because I'm off down the night bank early. <laughs> we bloody did it. We won. Come on, let's go. We won. We won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> Evening, skull crusher. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skull Crusher. Uh, I'm so glad you could make it, and if I may say so, what a smashing blouse you have on. <laughs> <laughs> but look, there's your five grand. Looks like 20 grand, doesn't it? It's bibbling about so much. Uh, well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, it's going to be fair money, isn't it? We must dash. Charming evening. Is that the door behind you? Hang <laughs> on. Oh, is there some sort of uh, problem, officer? I can't take this. Is there some sort of problem, officer? <laughs> um, is there some sort of uh, problem, officer? I can't officer. take it. Officer, it's forged. What? It's not. Yes, it is. I'm the one that forged it. Look, <laughs> that ain't the queen. It's Danny Larue. <laughs> well, it's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a queen. Would that do? Afraid not, boy. <laughs> it's. Play it out, let it play out. Oh, God. I think that, oh, just for pure laughs, this series so far, that has to be the best one, I think. Why is Siri popping up? Did I say, hey, Siri? No, I don't think I did. Fuck off, back to bed. Yeah, um, that has to be the best. Wow. <clears throat> the thing I was on about, you know, what I, the thing that I've been thinking about, I was going to save it until the very end, but I don't know if I can, because this is the episode that's basically made that decision for me now. Hmm. What do I do? I've thought about it. I really, I've had a really good think about it. Basically, reviewed my entire life of watching comedy to come to this decision. Well, you know what my memory's like, guys. If I don't do it now, I'll probably forget about it. But basically. It's that this is, by a considerable margin, the funniest sitcom I've ever seen. <clears throat> you know, like, per episode laughs, and just how much, uh, how funny it actually is. I can't think of anything that gets even close. And I've thought about it a lot. All the shows I've, I've watched, you know, It's not the best show ever. That'll always be Only Fools and Horses and then Breaking Bad. But I'm talking about comedy. Just just comedy, forget everything else. Just just for comedy, this has to be the best that I've ever seen. It's just <clears throat> Yeah, it has to be. That was brilliant. Where they were knocking 
knocking each other's teeth out. <laughs> Fucking Eddie! It's like he had a hundred teeth. He just kept spitting them out. <laughs> and then when it was Richie's turn, bouncing his head off the bar. <laughs> this is I can't wait for the live shows and the movies and um, everything else that people have mentioned you know apparently there's like a, a pre lo a pre no is it a prologue a prequel that's it like a prequel show of this called filthy rich and cat flap or something apparently that's Richie and Eddie too but in a di different situation have I got that right I'm sure someone's said in a comment about it, saying that it's these two characters, just in a different situation. Uh, yeah! Well, let's have a look. Last night, on last night's video, Filthy Rich and Cat, a slightly younger Richard and Eddie, in a flat, but this time Rick is a low-key celeb who doesn't get m much jobs. Only odd ones. Thinks he's more famous than he is. Eddie is Eddie. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Eddie will never be anyone else but Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait for all this. I'm going to miss this. Of course I am. I don't think... You know, it, it's taken time with some shows. But this, it was just... From episode one, I was hooked. And I wanted to watch the next one. And I knew straight away that I was, I was going to love it. And that doesn't happen a lot. <clears throat> it really surprises me how I'd never heard of these two in my life. I'd never heard the names Rick Mayall or Adrian Edmondson. I'd never heard of them. The only, the all, all I'd seen of either of them was a couple of years before I even started doing this thing on YouTube. Adrian was in EastEnders. He played Gene Slater's boyfriend who was dying of cancer. And you know what? He was actually really funny in it. He played a proper, miserable, snarky character. Because, you know, he was at the end of his life, so he had, like, a fuck it attitude. But he was really good. He was funny and... You just, you know, you you loved his character. He was funny and... But that was, that was the first I'd ever heard of either of them. Never seen either of them before in anything. And then when we started this, <clears throat> I realised who it was. Because, you know, whenever we do start a new show, I'll go on Wikipedia, look up the actors, see what they've done. And then it said, EastEnders. And I was like, oh, shit! Because, <laughs> you know, obviously, he was playing a terminal cancer patient. He was all, you know, done up to look really ill. He didn't look like anything like he does in this. But, yeah, that's all I'd ever seen of either of these two. And I feel really bad for that, because I've already said this, haven't I? These are probably the funniest comedy pair I've ever seen. Obviously the two Ronnies, they're legends, and they're the ones everybody goes to. But these two, for me, they're funnier. They have to be. They, they, they just are. They're funnier than the two Ronnies for me. It's debatable which is the better writing. Because the two Ronnies were geniuses. But. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> These are just so good. These two are just so good. Mm -mm -mm. So. <clears throat> let's end it. So that you can all enjoy this. And watch it. And have a laugh. And, um, yeah. 
I'll try and get something put together for YouTube. Probably take something off the Patreon. What are we do? Are we do anything? When was the last time I put a still game on? It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, the twenty third. There's a new Pentatonix reaction coming up as well that's been blocked, but it's awaiting the appeal, so it'll go through. Who's disliked that? Why would anyone dislike that? Um. Oh, I might put the next... Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look. <clears throat> See what, what I can find. So, yep. We've got two episodes left of this now. Does the uh, live shows have any... Does it have a particular name? Let's have a look. <clears throat> No, it's just called Bottom Life. <laughs> There's a poster here as soon as I've Googled it. One of the... Um, someone who's reviewed it said it's squalid, violent, sexist and downright hilarious. I can't wait for that then. <laughs> Warning, guaranteed to offend. Yes! <laughs> That's my favourite type of comedy. So it's just called Bottom Life. Right, okay. So, well, it's not on here. So, I'll find somewhere to watch it. Don't worry about that. We'll find somewhere. It'll exist somewhere, won't it? Don't panic. <clears throat> so, yep, that's it. So if you're watching this on YouTube, remember that this went out on the 26th of January. So whenever this ends up on YouTube, that's how long ago this actually became available. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, share. And also feel free to give me any uh, tips on where to find the live shows. If they're on a different website. If they're on YouTube and shitty quality, please don't recommend them. I don't want to watch them if they're, you know... <clears throat> like when we started... What was it that we started recently? And we did the first episode on YouTube, then I discovered that they were available on, like, Netflix in HD quality. Was it the Young Ones? Oh, no, we started the Young Ones on this website, didn't we? And the quality was shite. And then I realised that it was on BBC iPlayer. So, yeah, alright. So... Yeah, only recommend it if it's good quality. I don't want to be squinting all the way through. <laughs> so I'll leave it there with you guys, alright? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Thanks for the support on the Patreon. I appreciate it. Goodbye.